name is Tom Robinson. I'm a client director at Technimove, and today I'm going to be talking you through the process of how Technimove would deliver a critical physical data center migration. Now, Technimove have led the market when it comes to physical data center migrations for over 24 years, completing some of the world's most complex and critical projects. Migrating anything from a single device to north of 100 racks. Technimove have migrated mission critical infrastructure for organisations across all sectors, including financial services, insurance, cloud computing, gaming, as well as local and central government, to name a few. This makes Technimove well equipped to talk you through this process on how to deliver a critical data centre migration successfully, both minimising risk and downtime. So, what is a physical data centre migration? A physical data centre migration is when an organisation is relocating their IT infrastructure from one location to another. There are many factors that can drive a data centre migration and some of the most common reasons or factors include things such as mergers and acquisitions, consolidation of existing real estate or legacy data centre footprints, expansion into new markets or exiting of existing markets due to data sovereignty, GDPR, or it could be driven by political, economical, or environmental reasons, or it simply could just be a change in IT strategy, or it could be an organisation just looking to relocate from an existing on-premise data centre to improve resilience, or due to a lack of IT technical staff, to a co-location facility, or it could be simply the case that an organisation's co-location contract is up for a renewal, and they're looking to exit and relocate to a new facility. So what type of infrastructure do customers typically migrate as part of a data center migration? This includes network infrastructure, so firewalls, switches and routers. It includes compute, so servers, blade servers and blade chassis, as well as storage equipment, which could be individual devices, populated racks or tape libraries. So let me now walk you through the process of a physical data center migration. First, the client's in-house IT team identifies the requirement to relocate existing IT infrastructure. A Technimove migration expert has an initial discussion with the customer to understand at a high level the customer's requirement and challenges. Technimove's migration managers organize to go to site with a lead data center migration engineer to conduct a survey of the client's current data center environment. Following the survey, a meeting is held with the customer to discuss any issues or challenges that the Technimove team identified on the survey and the PM will advise the customer on the best solution to deliver the project successfully, minimizing both risk and downtime. The Technimove team then submit their proposal to the customer. Once the client has signed off on the project plan and a PO raised, the project can move into delivery. The project manager then engages with all the key stakeholders within Technimove to build the project plan for delivery, get dates booked in with operations and the relevant resources allocated. The Technimove engineering team then kick off the project by conducting a physical audit and cable trace. That information is then shared with the customer to start forming the destination site patching schedule. Once the patching schedule has been completed by the customer and verified by the Technimove project manager, the Technimove engineering team will then go on site to conduct a pre-cable. Once the patching schedule has been completed by the customer and verified by the Technimove project manager, the Technimove engineering team will then go on site to conduct a pre-cable. On the day of the migration, the Technimove team will arrive on site to support the customer with the power down, or if support is not required, then arrive on site once all equipment is powered down. Engineers will then start unplugging all devices and de-racking individually before wrapping devices in anti-static bubble wrap. All devices will be placed into purpose-built server foam line flight cases before being secured in Technimove solid-sided Mercedes vehicles. Engineers then drive to the destination site in our GPS trap vehicles. Technimove can also provide support vehicles to follow the primary vehicles whilst in transit. Throughout the entire migration, equipment is insured by Technimove with a comprehensive cover with no upper limit. Once at the destination site, all flight cases are relocated from our vehicle to the data hall. 
The customer then breaks the seals on the flight cases to confirm nothing has been tampered with during transit. The Technimove team will then begin to re-rack devices into the destination site racks. Once racked, the team will then start to recommission devices in line with the patching schedules. Once all devices have been recommissioned, the Technimove team will then hand over to the customer to commence with powering up the equipment. As standard, across all of our critical data center migration projects, Technimove provide post-commissioning support services. This is where we'll have a dedicated engineer or engineering team on-site post-migration to support the customer throughout the powering up phase. This will be to support with any snagging issues or if the customer wants to make any changes to the current rack layer. Telemove can also provide a standby and rollback service, which is essentially an insurance policy. And what it means is we can have a team on standby, again post-migration, whilst the customer is powering up. And if they have any issues with powering up or connectivity, that team are on standby to roll the infrastructure back to the collection site to make sure it is BAU come Monday morning for the customer.